What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Irwindale. Definitely been itching to get on Irwindale recently after watching Chris Forsberg, Matt Fields, Dai Shihara, and all them ripping on Irwindale, doing some testing on their new FD cars. So we are here in a server with a lot of people right now. Public server in the Slide Boys cars here at Irwindale. We're going to be getting some random tandem, seeing if we can't throw down the banks here in this 350Z with, uh, well, tandem with some randoms. Got a lot of guys going on, running, looks like they're running trains up on the walls. I'm going to try and get a lead run first. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put you in the description box below. That man just sent it. Wait for somebody to come and chase. Oh, okay. Apparently, they don't want to chase. They want to go by themselves. Problem with uh, online sessions, I feel that people don't really follow the lead and chase rules. Oh, scrubbing the walls. We managed to somewhat keep control. Definitely been enjoying the Slide Boys cars. They are a very good car pack. And uh, they got the they got the power to to handle the banks here at Irwindale. Kind of a little bit saucy on the edge of that uh, last run. Let's see if we can actually try and get into some tandems here. Irwindale, one of my favorite tracks to uh, tandem here in a set of Corsa because of the high banks, the high speeds. This 350 just pops off. We're gonna see if we can get somebody to lead, and I'm gonna try and uh, throw down a tandem tandem run here. We do have an E46 in the fourth gear. Oh, I hesitated. I thought he was going to biff the wall, so we're a little bit back on the chase, but we can uh, make that up here. Cut this angle a little bit shorter. Didn't lose much ground based on where I started on the bank. Nice solid run by that man. Oh, as I say that, the dude goes airborne after the last bit. Rip RIP to that E46. That uh, car is not uh, not going to be back here, probably. Wow, they're running full trains now. Uh, I think we need to try and get a part of that train. Yeah, they're running trains. We're going to try and be a part of that. The man just hit the cones. So the cones here on the uh, Irwindale track, you can't go through them. They will definitely rock you for sure. I was standing with these guys earlier. These guys are pretty good in the GT4586s. So we're just going to go in and try and send it behind them. Grab fourth gear. As I say, that dude loses it. Punted that clip. A little wall tap for him. A little clutch kick. I thought he was going to completely lose it. But nonetheless, a clean run. Irwindale, definitely a difficult track to start learning. He's running that inner bank too. Difficult track to start learning with the long bank and everything. And that inner bank having a bit of a changing radius where it changes a little bit. And you got to... Oh, little tap. You gotta make sure you slow down a little bit so you don't run hit that wall. Grab fourth. Man, definitely over angled. Saved it though, didn't wreck the cars. Oh man, that got dicey. We almost died from that guy. Just a little wall tap at the end. Nothing too severe. Those uh, two GT4586s. They were getting it down earlier. They're uh, Maybe I'm throwing some pressure on them and they're making mistakes. Oh, well, as they hit the walls and stuff. Well, we'll see. 
we can't throw maybe a lead. Back up to the wall, there we go. Oh, a little bit off that last clip, but a somewhat smooth lead. Drift that inside edge. Oh, don't hit Zupras. Or those cones. Ow. We're on another lead. Oh, spark and rear valences. Pretty decent on the bank. Right on that wall in that crease. Probably the best lead run I've had. I wall tap it on the end, but managed to be one of the best lead runs I think I've had recently. So now we gotta try and uh, suck in to this man's door or anybody's door for that matter. Don't know what that super was doing. Kind of scared me, and then E46 lost it. We managed to keep it. So, public lobbies are definitely very uh, sketchy when it comes to doing the lead and chase stuff because not many people follow the lead and chase parameters, which is unfortunate because, you know, it's great to have that and the heck just happened there. Okay. I guess we're going this way. Like I said, public lobby problems. I've never had any problems like this before in this set of lobby too much. Oh, that guy was all over the place. I feel like I'm back in a Forza 7 lobby. In this set of lobby, Forza 7 lobby, I'm super confused. Try following this black E46. I haven't followed him yet. There we go. Oh, why is that guy going backwards on the track? So unfortunately, we are getting all kinds of people mixing up our lines and stuff. So I can need to try and follow these 4586s because they seem to be the only ones that are really running the lead and chase stuff. Cut this bank. Oh. Kind of stayed out of the wall hitting from them. Okay. I got surge done. I think we're gonna get maybe one or two more runs here to end this episode off. Unfortunately, it looks like it's getting hectic here, and uh, well, I guess we're just gonna go out with a full bang. People are just doing donuts in the box. So this will be the last run for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be found in the description box below. Hope you guys are enjoying the car pack, the missile car pack I released. Hope you guys are liking the cars constructive criticism 
would be very appreciative as well on things you maybe think I should change in further cars and stuff like that. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. That's a wall. I'll see you guys on the track.